Hi, and welcome to the SEO podcast, Unknown Secrets of Internet Marketing. I don't even celebrate anymore. I just don't get out of the box uh, every time. He got it now. He got right. it now. <laughs> <laughs> you are listening to the most popular SEO podcast on iTunes. My name is Chris Burris, owner of eWebStyle. I am Charles Lewis, your internet marketing specialist. We are really excited to be doing our show today. You know what? I forgot last paper. Um, you know what? Let me step into my office and I will get our last sheet of paper for our last tip. Yeah, we are the most popular internet marketing podcast on iTunes and that's because of you. You right there, you right there, and the rest of y'all who are watching and listening. We really appreciate you tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, I'm going to keep doing this and stall until Chris gets back because I'm pretty good at what I do. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, so our tip from our last podcast was make sure your PPC manager slash team has SEO expertise. Yes, yes. It's never been more important than now for your PPC management team uh, to have SEO expertise. Go back and listen to the last podcast, which was 124, uh, to figure out why that is true. Exactly, uh, because, I mean, basically, um, Google is now ranking quality of your landing pages. So if you're doing PPC, then chances are you create landing pages. Well, Google wants, to, wants that landing page basically to be optimized. And so whoever is managing your PPC um, definitely needs to uh, know how to optimize the page. Yeah, so uh, so go back. Um, well, I guess now they don't have to listen. Yeah, go listen. To that <laughs> go listen anyway. <laughs> um, hey, we got a great review. Do not forget, we are your friendly local neighborhood top position snatchers yes. where our mantra is, Don't be a douche. Don't be a douche. Um, and you got to go back and listen to some of our podcasts. In fact, let's get right into this. I'm excited. No tear. Uh, no I don't tier? need a tear tattoo. That must be an iTunes review. It's an iTunes hey, review. Yeah. Uh, the title is Great Info, Real Guys, Lots of Fun, Bill Mac 444. Uh, it's actually Bill McKenna. Uh, he goes, I did not get it at first, but kept listening. These, we used to, I'll be honest, sometimes we don't get it. Like, yeah, yeah. It's we got to keep listening, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, these guys are having a lot of fun teaching and sharing with people ideas and concepts that they have honed in the trenches. This is not theory. It's not hobby. This is what they do. Not only do they share their tips and secrets, but they also offer people free website evaluations from an SEO standpoint. <laughs> awesome. That's great. All you got to do is go to our website, yeah. site e-webstyle.com. On the right, there's a form. What's that for? Free website. Website. No, analysis. I'm going to say analysis. Free <laughs> website analysis form. Fill it out. Submit it. I'll get it. Chris, get it. We'll personally evaluate your website. Let you know what's wrong with it, what's right with it, what you can improve. And we do it free. And it's, it's part off. It's, it's all free. It's part of our other podcast, our yes. uh, Unknown Secrets of TiVo Website Analysis. SIVO stands for Search Engine Visitor Optimization. Uh, Bill continues saying, when I said I did not get it at first, I mean some of the inside jokes. But after a short time listening, you catch up quick. Ooh. Good. We like to think our audience yeah, is quick. Uh, uh, one of the things I really like is when they really are stumped with something, they will admit it and look into it further rather than making up a lame answer. Well, at least that's how, how it feels to him. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't know, you I'm know, not in fact, tell you something wrong. I've got a big thank you to give to to the audience after we finish this review. Uh, I love the blank stares. You have to tune in to see what that is. But if you have any interest in SEO and want to learn from professionals while having a few laughs, then look no farther than this place. Bill McKenna will share a website after some more work. So <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm I'm get house. <laughs> man, Bill, appreciate the review. I really do. Punch in the face to you for that. Boom. Um, send us a link. Podcast at e e website.com. Send us the link to your site. Uh, we'll be glad to do an analysis and, and show you some link love. Unlike a lot of other venues, we actually want you to get distracted right now. Wherever you're watching or listening to this, hopefully you're at a computer or you've got your phone, pull it out and tweet that you're listening to SEO Podcast. What's the hashtag? Hashtag is the SEO Podcast 125. Hashtag SEO Podcast 125. Um, and the big, the big thank you that I want to give, uh, give you guys is, you know, we, it's really your questions that cause us to have to research and yeah. do a little bit more work. 
Uh, and frankly, without this podcast and without you guys submitting those questions, you know, we would probably stay, you know, right on the edge of uh, being able to do a good job and not really having an expansive knowledge of SEO. It's the fact that you guys push us that really push us to expand our own knowledge. So, uh, man, big punch in the face to every single one of our listeners, which is apparently about 2,500 2, to 4,000 <laughs> downloads per week. So, yeah, keep it up. Thank you guys so much. Um, I already mentioned the tweet, right? So they should be tweeting right, like now, right that now they're yeah. that they're listening. And tag uh, us in it at eWebStyle. Yep. Since, since Chris didn't tell y'all how y'all can stalk us. Oh yeah, there is a way or two or three that you can stalk us. One of them is Facebook.com slash eWebStyle. Another one is Twitter.com slash eWebStyle. You also have YouTube.com slash eWebStyle. And then there's an email podcast at e dash. Webstyle.com. I got you. You be yeah, positive. Nah, that was a it was clean. Pause was on purpose. That uh, fooled you. There's the dramatic, <laughs> the <laughs> pregnant pause. All right. Uh, th- a little bit of news. Uh, Larry Page vows, I love this word, auto magical results with Google. Yeah, I saw that. Auto magical. Like, that's just a wonderful word in general. Um, I'm not sure what that word means. Yeah, I'm not either. It sounds just great. He says, there a hundred new features have been added in the first 90 days of Google+. There are 40 million users on Google+, in the first 90 days. Um, and auto, uh, the auto magical, it says it's going to take into account your experiences and what you do on your Google+, account and who you interact with to judge what results that you're probably going to want to see. Interesting. I think that's pretty cool. Can I get on the soapbox for a minute? Just for a minute? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so check this out, Larry Page. Since uh, you're probably using Google Alerts, this will be transcripted. So hopefully you'll see the transcript and get an email and, and then and get this next statement I'm about to say. Google Plus, I really would appreciate the if you guys could be a little bit more efficient in making Google Plus work with Google Apps accounts. With your other Google products. I mean, yes. is that really too much to ask. I mean, really? <laughs> I mean, because what makes it worse is that I have a Google Plus account with a Google Apps account, and I can't use it. I used to use it, now I can't. Well, I can't sometimes. Like, it just depends if you the random day that you remember the order or that the order works where. Yeah, I have to log into it a certain way. Like, I can't log into uh, to my email on Google Apps and then try to go to Plus. Right. And it won't work. work. I have to log into Google, right? then instead of activating the Gmail account that it keep trying to force me to do, which I don't want because I'm already, my app is a Google account, right, right. go to a new tab and go to G+. And it, and it works. And then it works. So there is actually some weird work In Firefox. In Firefox Not in only. Chrome. <laughs> and so, yeah, y'all making it real hard to use G+, man. Real talk. So I, I like to see the new features. I like yep. to do a Hangout. So, so come on, man. Yeah, we can't do it unless you uh, open that up. And frankly, you, really what they're going to need to do is have the ability to transfer Google Plus accounts. Because if you're at a company and you set up your first Google Plus account on that company email and leave that company, you should there should be some methodology where you can take that G Plus account with you. Uh, and that's probably what they're wrestling with because there's a lot of nightmare, I think nightmare scenarios that can occur. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, you got it. Okay. I thought I was gonna have to go back in back my in office, office, and that that can take That's forever. That's awesome, man. Shout out to face the building. Yeah, yeah so thanks, cool. Bill. That was a great, uh, great review. Okay, so we got an article here. It's interesting. It's an old article, like three years, three and a half years ago, April '08, um, from Search Engine Journal. Um, guy Richard wrote it, um, and it looks like it's a, a ton of tips, 55 different tips for SEO. So the reason we had this article today is we kind of want to breeze through these if we can. Probably won't complete the entire list, but curious to see what has changed in our industry from three years ago three years so th- how much of a difference has three years made because we do get comments in our in our in our reviews about yeah. how you know we're up to date we're talking social we're talking things that you know we're talking g plus well if you're listening to a podcast that ended i don't know three years ago because <laughs> there are a few um they weren't talking about g plus yeah weren't talking g facebook wasn't even that hip three years ago now it's part of every conversation Let's see, if you absolutely must use JavaScript drop-down menus, image maps, or image links, be sure to put text links somewhere on the page for the spiders to follow. First off, he used spiders. 
<laughs> yes, and we all know that they're actually called monsters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rawr, and they make a noise. So when your website gets hit, you hear this little rawr, and the Google monster has crawl spidered your How, why has rawr become the definitive sound for monster <laughs> yeah, Paul like one day I was like yeah Google monster and he was like rawr was like yeah I'd hear that <laughs> but basically um I, I almost disagree with this now I, I think mean, it mo- doesn't apply I yeah think most JavaScript down uh, menus especially drop downs are are very SEO friendly um they can be easily indexable um and they rank well so um now, that Flash, thing. on the other hand, um, yeah. yeah. Mm. Although, and I think uh, in our last podcast we mentioned it. Yeah, you found a we site. We found a site that's all Flash that's on the first page of Google. It's a really obtuse uh, search term, but, you know, yeah. yeah, whatever. It's it's on the first page, so that's... Number two, content is king. So be, good to, so be sure to have good, well-written, and unique content that will focus on your primary keyword or key phrase. Check. Yeah, that's still true. Yeah. Three, if content is king, then links are queen. Build a network of quality backlinks, losing your keyword phrase as the link. Remember, if there is no good logical reason for that site to link to you, you don't want the link. Yeah. Check. Yeah. Well, and you know, I always like to make this point because people say content is king. But there is something that is actually more important than the king. Keywords. Keywords, yeah. keywords, keywords. Keywords, keywords, keywords. So uh, we'll see if he mentions that in any one of these 55 points. Yeah, well, I mean, even there, he said, you know, well-written and unique content that focuses on your primary keyword or key phrase. Yeah. Number three was, uh, oh, number four, don't be obsessed with page rank. <laughs> Inside page, joke, page. SEO yeah. rapper fans, y'all, yeah. shout out to y'all. It is just one itsy-bitsy part of the ranking algorithm. A site with a low PR can actually outrank one with a higher PR. Well, and you know, Google's even pulled, since that article's actually pulled PR, they don't, Bank, they, yeah. I think they only update every six months or something, mm-hmm. uh, and they're claiming that there's less emphasis on it, so, yeah. Yeah, I think they're shifting more to trust ranking and things of that nature. Yeah. Uh, let's see, be sure you have unique keyword focus title tag on every page of your site, and if you must have the name of your company in it, put it at the end. Unless you are a major brand name that is a household name, your business will, your business name will probably get few searches. Yeah. yeah. Well. Title tags. I mean, that's that's cut drive. That's what it is. Main keyword, and especially on the home page, which your primary one that your company is focusing on. Um, Sub pages, then title those appropriately. And yeah, if you don't have to put your company name, then don't. If you find it, if it's that necessary too, then yes, put it at the end after a hyphen. Or uh, what's that called? Uh, a bar? Uh, 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 yeah. The straight up and down bar. <laughs> I was say a shark fin. Yeah, <laughs> the shark fin. Yeah. Uh, it's some sort of um, brack uh, pipe. A pipe. It's called a pipe. Really? It actually I is. Never knew what that was called. Yeah, I'm called sure it's a pipe. Because the because I think that comes from Unix. You use that symbol to actually pipe stuff into like a. After that, you would put a text file. Mm-hmm. So you would put that straight up and down symbol and then the, the name of the text file. And so if it had results, it would stick them in there. With pipe. Hmm? Sound a little suspect. I'm going to call it a bar. All right. So uh, I think we just <laughs> we just broke Bill's trust where uh, he says it doesn't look like we make up some stupid <laughs> No. <laughs> I think it is called pipe. Okay. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Number six. Fresh content can improve your rankings. Add new useful content to your pages on a regular basis. Content... Freshness adds relevancy to your site in the eyes of the search engines. I think even more important now, uh, you know, after Panda, it's fresh new content that that gives a lot more has a lot more value yeah. uh, than than it did. So yeah, that one actually went up. Mm-hmm. And and I, to, to add to that, I would say um, spread that content out. So for example, if you update a uh, a page on your site, um, you should probably tweet about it, Facebook it and share it on dig and all these other social sites because uh google's ranking you know that that's coming into effect now they, they're looking at how many times this content has been shared to to re- to determine where it should be ranked at on the page well and the other thing is if you maybe you have a content writer that you use and they're part-time or something and they crank out like 20 articles don't post 20 articles in a day um you know stretch stretch them out over a week yeah, 20 articles, yeah, couple, that would take a yeah, month or three a couple months, months. So <laughs> once a week. Yeah. Uh, number eight. Nope, number seven. Be sure 
be sure it links to your site and within your site use your key phrase in other words if your target is blue widgets then link to blue widgets instead of click here he actually said blue widgets i wonder if he's a podcast listener he didn't say one he didn't say one on widgets he said blue widgets that's, yeah that's that, cool. that's, yeah focus on search phrases not single keywords and put your location in your text our palm spring store not our store to help you get found in local searches even more important with mm -hmm. google focusing on on local so now when you search from a particular region uh google can identify that ip address is where you're at and ten, and adds that into the relevancy depending on the search term so if the search term is like viscosity there's no need for uh, any localization. If the search term is, you know, plumber, then yeah. you're obviously looking for, typically looking for something that's uh, regionalized. Local, definitely. Um, don't design your website without considering SEO. Make sure your web design understands your expectations for organic SEO. Doing a retrofit on your shiny new flash base site after <laughs> it is built won't cut it. Spiders can crawl ticks, not flash or images. <laughs> We we build them from the from the ground up. So yeah. our focus, and in fact, uh, we tend not to do just websites anymore. When we do just a website, we really kind of uh, we do less effort on the SEO side. So when we know somebody's going to do SEO, then we really pull back and do a lot more effort to make sure that that website's designed. It's got a page for every major keyword set, mm -hmm. really, if you will. And um, and and that 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 the navigation incorporates the the general premises of SEO. So it makes sense that you may have a web designer who hasn't done that. Um, one, because it's not their expertise, so they may not even know what they need what to be doing. doing. Mm -hmm. And two, if you're not going to do SEO, it's a lot of effort that really is going to be valuable. You can you can throw up great content, and if you're not working on anything else, you're probably not going to you're not going to show on the search engines. So. You know, why should your designer spend another five hours, you know, f making things exactly the way they should be if you were to do SEO, if you're not going to do SEO? So. Yeah, yeah. Pay them. Yeah. <laughs> and, and by the way, do SEO. Yeah, exactly. A website is, we, we say, a website is an expense. Internet marketing, it's including an SEO, yeah. is an investment. With, with an ROI, if it's done right. Definitely. Um, number 10, use keywords and keyword phrases appropriately in text links, alt tags, and even your domain name. Okay, this sounds like number eight. Um, number 11, check for um, canicalization issues, www and non www domain names. Decide what you want to use and 301 redirect the other to it. In other words, if the, w, if the domain name is www.domain.com is your preference, then HTTP code and slash slash domain dot com should point to the dub 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 version with a 301 redirect. Yeah. And that's easy to do with an HTC access. The reason you do that is because Google sees those as individual pages. Yeah, no so dual content. It's it's potential to have well and link juice right mm -hmm. is the other issue. It's potential to have um, three pages that represent your homepage: www dot domain uh, domain dot com and then domain dot com slash index. Mm -hmm. HTML and then www.domain.com slash index.html. Google sees all of those pages, they're different URLs, as different pages. So if you've got inbound links to the first one, and inbound links to the second one, and inbound links to the other two, um, it really you're spreading it's your spread link juice. juice kind of thin. Yeah. yeah. And if you do a 301 redirect, Google will say, hey, that home page actually has. Uh, a lot more link juice than uh, yeah. the, the four. It ones. actually is this one, and all links should go that one. Yeah, yeah, make perfect sense. Um, check your link. Check the link to your homepage throughout your site. Is index HTML appended to your domain name? If so, you're splitting your links. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Ditch the index or default or home or whatever it is, and link back to your domain name. I co signed that. Um, index is okay if you redirect them to it, but I would just ditch it and just make dot com and stop there be the home page. Yep. And by the way, I don't know if you know this, you, it's better to include the slash and marginally better because the slash actually, if the slash isn't there, so you do, you know, ewebstyle.com, when you send that to the server, it actually has to come back and say, did you mean slash? And then it goes back and says yes. There's that com slash. Yeah, there's another hit, uh, server hit that occurs if you leave off the slash. And when you mm. add the slash, it doesn't do that second. So server would hit. that mean adding the slash increases page load? 
It sh marginally it should, yeah. Let's see, number thirteen. Frames, flash, and Ajax all share a common problem. You can't link to a single page. It's either all or nothing. Don't use frames at all and use flash and Ajax sparingly for best SEO results. Yeah, flash and Ajax are you really want to use those on forms mm -hmm. and um, and 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 actual software. So not your website, not the marketing aspect of your website, uh, but the software that you you know maybe you've got. You know, we're working on a couple components for SEO tools, and those yeah. tools may be done in Ajax because it's not that it, it doesn't make sense to have those as multiple pages that have the opportunity to draw traffic. It makes sense to have it all on one page. We'll probably get to this first page. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Number 14. Your URL file extension doesn't matter. You can use .html, .htm, .asp, .php, etc. And it won't make a difference as far as your SEO is concerned. Um, I'll co-sign it in. Yeah, I think there was a time where it did matter, where Google was a little apprehensive about parsing a .asp page or, or dynamically what it knew was a, cr a dynamically created page because it knew it could be uh, dynamically created mm -hmm. and you could get into infinite loops. Uh, so it just figured out a way to make sure that that doesn't happen and then is, is no longer fearful of the uh, d dynamically created web pages. I like this one. Number 15. You got a new website you want spidered? Submitting through Google's regular submission form can take weeks. The quickest way to get your site spotted is by getting a link to it through another quality site. Yep. I totally co-sign that. Um, sites that have, a, especially if you get a link from a site that has a, a higher PR a site that refreshes their content uh, frequently and is relevant, uh, especially to your industry, um, yeah, you're more likely to get your site indexed by Google a lot faster than, than going through Webmaster Tools and, and submitting it. Yep. Uh, last one for today. Um, if your site content doesn't change often, your site needs a blog because spot search spiders like fresh text. Blog at least three times a week with good fresh content to feed those little crawlers. Three times a week is a bit much, especially if you're a plumber or you know um, some other service-based industry that's really looking to blog just for the sake of having fresh content. Um, I think once a week is good, um, maybe even twice a month, you know. But what I would add to that is not only blog about it, but um, like I said earlier, spread that content out. Facebook, is, Facebook, yeah. you tweet it, put that content in a newsletter. Yep. You know, and, and then push it out there, and, and that way you can build links back to your site, spread the content out, and then um, and, and then keep it fresh. Let's make the point. I may end up breaking our podcast because our podcast we transcribe it, put it on our blog. And I typically break it up into three sections with three kind of keyword-rich titles, and uh, and I usually just post them, post all mm -hmm. of those on Monday. Um, we can break that up into three sections, and that w that will have value. We we're even learning from ourselves. Yeah, we'll do it and, and tell you how it works. See how how different it is. Um, excellent. That's all oh, good stuff. Some blanks there. We've got so just to, just to wrap that up. Um, yeah, that was one through. 1 through 16, and that was Richard Burkhart, uh, Search Engine Journal, 2008. Uh, so that's kind of cool to kind of go in retroactively and see uh, what's changed. What's yes. changed. And um, cool, cool. We'll get to the rest of that in the next podcast. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Blank stare. Blank stare. Yeah. I, had the, the yeah, I saw you, yeah. you did the head tilt there. Yeah. That was pretty cool. So check it out. Blank stare at rim. Research in motion. <laughs> rim. <laughs> yeah, rim. Rim and them. Yeah, research in motion, man. Blackberry. Like, really? They shut down. I take that back. They didn't shut down. They What happens is, I read the article in New York Times. They had a, a core switch from their main networking um, 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 data center. Right. That crashed. Right. And so, the <laughs> New York Times compared it to the Lucille Ball scene where, <laughs> where they were trying to wrap up the Yeah. <laughs> and Don't so, all of a sudden, they lost five continents. Five continents. Five, five continents. Out of seven. Yeah, so Europe went down first. And, and why they, all of a sudden, data kept coming in. People texting stuff and doing what they do on their Blackberries. And all of a sudden, the whole infrastructure shut down. Wow. Yeah, and it took them like two days. So, wow. It sucks for you, Blackberry, especially already losing market share. I th you uh, know, I was thinking that it, there's like one engineer who was like tweaking some crazy, like, man, I can probably speed this up by .0001% if I just put in this line of code. Yeah. 
Then and then he's Simpson. taking a lunch. <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, I know a guy who actually works on Cisco routers, and if you in 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 in, in, in Cisco routers, you actually like uh, uh, you, you apply something, but it doesn't save it. So when you reboot, it comes back up with the okay. old settings. So he'll apply something, take down a network, <laughs> reboot it, and leave. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What? No, it's, I wouldn't it's, hear. it's fine now. Oh, because he's rebooting. When he comes back, it's back to the old settings. And like, <laughs> no, I'm at lunch. What? Nah, everything's good. So, wow. Yeah. Somebody. So, oh, makes it worse. Him. Makes it worse. Um, they don't want to um, issue out any uh, financial uh, projections or impact potential. Well, to cl customers, people asking. What sort of uh, payback can we get? Oh yeah, due to the lack yeah. of service. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so they're dodging that question. <laughs> so just like a day. Yeah, man. Two two days. It's with all their subscribers. That's a ton of money. Yeah. In terms of what they're raking in, it's it's nothing because it's only two out of thirty days. But wow. Yeah. Yeah, man. Month free, man. At least a free something. You know, a lot of and we were talking about this. Most people use the rim device for. What is the technology? It's oh, BBM. BBM, mm -hmm. which is BlackBerry Mobile Messaging, I guess. There's two M's. BlackBerry Messenger. B B B <laughs> didn't you say B BBM? Oh, BBM. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's yeah. like double letter dyslexic. I don't even know how that works. Yeah, um, it's the same way. <laughs> so, oh, as I was saying, it was like, where's the berry? Shouldn't it be two B's? <laughs> Why is it two M's? Anyway, uh, and, and a lot of people in Latin America and here in the States actually communicate through mm -hmm. that BBM service. So uh, they were out, out of touch. I know I know Nick here in the office, he wasn't able to get uh, photos of his new baby over to the, to the family. So they were all... Ah. No, that was the baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You have been listening to the most popular SEO podcast on iTunes. That is because of you. Big punch in the face to you. Uh, we really appreciate you uh, on, so many, on so many levels. Do not forget, right now, we're wrapping up the podcast. Just tweet. I just finished listening to... Hashtag SEO Podcast 125. Yeah, 125. Wow, yeah. We're, getting, we're getting up there. Which uh, we could probably be a new one. I think I want to include eWeb and hashtag somehow. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah we could do eWeb SEO 125 or something like that. It's kind of long. Do work it out. <laughs> <laughs> you are the Twitter expert. He's the one who has Chuck. <laughs> yeah. I'm the one who has eWeb style. All right, thank you guys for listening. Until the next podcast, bye-bye for now.